Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm going to talk today about art and the internet. Most of us don't read the terms and conditions when we make an Instagram account, but if you're an artist, maybe you should. If we take a look at Instagram's community guidelines, we find a policy that says, we know that there are times when people might want to share nude images that are artistic or creative in nature, but for a variety of reasons, we don't allow nudity on Instagram. It then goes on to say, Nudity in photos of paintings and sculptures is okay, too. Yet Instagram doesn't always accurately enforce this policy. And what about those art forms beyond painting and sculpture? While Instagram is often held up as a great career management tool for artists, because they can network and share and sell work, how much can we value Instagram as a tool for artists if Instagram restricts some artists from posting? I found almost no scholarly research on this topic when I began looking into it, so I looked at research on internet law and regulation, art censorship, social media cultural work, and newspaper articles. I became interested in how visual artists perceive Instagram's community guidelines and the effects these guidelines have on visual artists' use of Instagram for career management. To investigate this question, I interviewed five visual artists that use Instagram. My participants believed that access to an online community was the most important part of Instagram for career management. My participants were also very concerned with what it means to be an artist on Instagram. Interestingly, when talking about Instagram's guidelines, my participants simultaneously argued that art is too difficult to regulate and that internet spaces need to be regulated. So what does this tell us? First, if Instagram is valued as a means of forming online artistic community, those artists who have work removed from Instagram are restricted from participating in this community. This is especially problematic for artists from marginalized backgrounds who face additional challenges in accessing the established art world. Second, since Instagram makes an allowance for some forms of artistic nudity, such as painting and sculpture, the platform and its workers are deciding what content fits this description what content is acceptable art, and what content isn't. Further, if Instagram is supposed to be an egalitarian platform where anyone can share artwork, how does Instagram decide who is and isn't an artist? As long as Instagram limits artistic tastes and expression and passes judgment on what is and isn't art, and consequently, who is and isn't an artist, its value as a career management tool for artists is limited. While I'm not arguing that Instagram needs to get rid of its guidelines on nudity, I am arguing that artists and cultural workers need to be critical of viewing Instagram as a tool for career management. In an era where so much of our cultural engagement has to take place online, we need to be critical of what content is valued in these spaces and which voices are excluded. Thank you.